Potent pondering back with another video. Yo, please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession. Each and every time I go live or I do upload, shout out to all of y'all, it's Labor Day. Listen, the day is winding down. I just came out from a barbecue. They had crazy. Yo, I'm glad that I was alerted by one of my friends that they was gonna have crazy air conditioning blasting. All of my friends know that I hate air conditioning, so I brought me, you know, a sweater today. I got a little spillage on it too, but you can't see that, so it don't really matter. But listen, and nonetheless, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Um, please make sure that you support the channel. The cash app is in the description of the video. Y'all already know what I'm here to talk about. Cardi B, desperate, desperate. The girl had a, a hapless year. Hapless meaning unfortunate. Hapless meaning seven records came out this year all flopped. All flopped. I told y'all this. And y'all be y'all don't be wanting to listen. Cardi B needs Nicki Minaj for relevancy. She needs some sort of attraction to bring the attraction she needs it because outside of that ain't nothing going on it ain't no listen cardi was jealous because of the attention megan the stallion got off of beefing with nikki you know nikki set it off and then it was just like the megan and nikki and then the kendrick lamar and all of them too all of that was going on you understand what i'm saying so it's like cardi yo so let me just explain what happened to y'all um cardi b she has some sort of maternity shoot. To me, it's like, why would you sit in the canal on a motorcycle? Like, would you want to be edgy? Like, like I don't want to, I didn't even understand the look of it at all, right? So, Cardi B had a photo shoot, and she's sitting on the on the motorcycle, run sitting right on the right on the on the on the <laughs> the seat of the of it, you know. And I just feel like Cardi B, she tries to go so far and she tries to give like these edgy, she want to be Rihanna. She want to be like how where Rihanna was back in the day where it was like, you know, Beyonce didn't smoke weed. She wasn't cool or whatever. She's trying to be edgy. Like she's trying to sit on that motorcycle. I'm like, yeah, sit your ass down. You know what I'm saying? So she took these photos and I don't care what you say. With somebody of, even though I don't like to give Cardi B credit any form of sense on the artist level, but her stature as a public figure, as a celebrity, you can't tell me that when you took that photo that you didn't see the word pedophile behind it. You can't tell me that you didn't see that. You can't tell me that you didn't see that. And what I truly believe is you've seen it. Y'all go through it. Listen, things go through editing. People look at it. It's passed from one person to another. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? It's not just posted like that. It's not just instantly posted like that. So I don't know who the gal trying to fool, right? What she really wanted is a reaction. She, I believe like this. First and foremost, Nicki Minaj is not a pedo, right? Her husband is not a pedo at all, right? Now, based on the law and what things maybe that her brother went through or whatever, that's a whole different story, but it has nothing to do with Nicki, right? And Cardi is so desperate, so lonely that she will do anything to, to, to charge up conversations or whatever. Now, I did see that Complex came out earlier and they said that Cardi deleted it. I went to her Instagram page. She didn't delete the photos. It's still up there because she got her little million likes and that means so much to her, right? When she should really be focusing on the, on the whip shots and all of them negative reviews that she received over there. But anyway, right? So she posts those photos with that word in the back of it. And she started getting negative backlash from her fans. And they asked her, like, you know, this is a maternity shoot. Why would you, you know, it was her fans that was clocking her. So, um, you know, she started to spiral. I just also want to read some of the tweets that I wrote. Um, I told y'all this, and I wrote this yesterday on Twitter, right? Let me turn the screen down. I wrote this. I said, I've been trying to tell y'all Cardi B has been looking to try to ruffle Nicki's feathers. She has had bad luck with seven flop songs this year, completely hapless in her attempt of dominating the charts. She seen Megan go up with hiss, and the bitch got pissed. Like, um, you know, she taking my job. Nicki will continue to pay you dust, and she will continue to pay her dust. You know what I'm saying? I want to read the tweets that um that Cardi B uh did as well. So let's see. What what is where is her tweet at? All right. So Cardi B said this was one of the tweets that she had. So I guess somebody was telling her, like, you know, asking, like, where's your team at? Like, you know, asking about like where are the people that associated with you. So she came back, she said, A team, bitch, my makeup artist touched up that picture because we didn't have time for all of that. It says the date and the time um nobody was paying attention to the graffiti. Second, if I wanted to be petty, I would have posted it the memes last week. You know, last week when that stuff came out, when that boy had um, you know, released a video, when Conscious had released that video on YouTube. 
YouTube or whatever, Cardi, she's so tapped into the Nicki Minaj world. She's so obsessed. She's so in the mix like a damn. She want to be in a mix like a damn ingredient. But all them seven songs flopped in is funny like a comedian. Huh? Bad credit. Check Expedia. Listen, so what I want to say is. So she came out and said that and she's like. If I wanted to be petty, I would have posted memes last week. I keep telling y'all, leave me the F alone. If y'all leave y'all leave um, me the F alone. If I'm saying I'm not on that time, don't make me get on that time. Unrisk yourself. I don't know what you mean like by that, but unrisk is not a word. And you know, you try to come off like you this wordy birdie, you know what I'm saying? In your early 30s, and you're not smart like that. So um, I said, I pray Nikki never gives her the attention anymore. That ship has sailed. Train Ben left the station. Cardi B wanna beef with, didn't want to beef with Bia or JT directly because it's not worth it to her. She wants the big cat. She wants Nikki, and it ain't happening. Labels going bankrupt from decisions made years ago to even keep up with Nikki. You already allegedly have the name for yourself. See what you built up and um, see what you built up on your own. Drop that album with no videos and minimal press, and let's see if you could pull a Nikki. Let's see if you could pull a Nikki, I bet that she cannot. I bet she can, right? <laughs> when I put Cardi B wishes she Cardi B wishes she was a wordy birdie. She said, unrisk yourself. That's not even a word. Like, how dumb can you be with all those millions that you made talking about um you would have posted means last week? She is too obsessed with Nicki Minaj. It's sad. You sad. It's sad that you obsessed and you you in that world, right? And just to connect the stories, right? That lets you know how mixed in. Cardi B is. So I said, you know that blogger that released a video from 1994 last, last week regarding Kenneth Petty? That's what Cardi B is talking about, saying that she would have posted memes about. She is so Nikki obsessed, it's actually scary. Seven flop songs and she worried about Onika, the clout generator. Clout done. Pandemic over. Let, let your label use them marketing dollars. Like, huh? She know it too. Let me tell you something. I don't care how pretty they paint on. I don't care what Vances they wear. We've been wearing Vances since the, since the 90s, early 2000s. You doing some shit that like, you just now getting money. So now you rocking Vances. My people in the Bronx and Brooklyn, all that, they've been rocking Vances. So I'm not impressed by that. Only people who are impressed by that are people who don't have it. If you from New York City or I'm not even, I'm from upstate, but I seen that. The, rocking the Vances with the matching Gore-Tex Gore or the Pradas or whatever. That's old, sweetheart. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't generating nothing new. And you know what? I want to teach you a new word when it comes to Cardi B. Trite. T-R-I-T-E. Trite. It's something that's overly done. It's like, you remember when Cardi came out with that song? She's like, like what, huh? Like, huh? Like, like, huh? Like, what? Like, huh? Like, what? And it's like, all of the New York City underground girls is doing that. She did that just to ride their wave to make it look like she was the one who really put it out because she gets more streams. You know, when she was getting more streams. You know what I'm saying? So she rides these waves and she uses these terms that are overly used. Like, what? Like, huh? Like, what? Like, huh? Like, huh? Like, what? Like, huh? Like, what? Like what? Trite. I want you to adapt that word when you think of Cardi B. Anything, if if, if she says something is something, if they saying something is lit, if they saying something is cap, she gonna say that's cap, that's lit, that's cap. I don't like people who who move like that because it shows that you really don't have. Listen, when you when you don't really have no soul, you got to do anything to reach the goal. You got to do any and everything to reach the goal. And Cardi B is obsessed with Nicki Minaj and it's so disgusting. It is disgusting. I'm going to do a video next too talking about Ice Spice because Ice Spice got exposed by Cleo Trapper. She got exposed by Cleo Trapper. But listen, y'all. Y'all already know how this story go. It's about to be rollout season for, these, for, for, for this girl. She ain't do nothing all year. It might, it might as well be like she been pregnant all year. She ain't do nothing all year. But some sorry BET experience performances. You know, a Cardi B fan got in my comments the other day when I did a video talking about Azalea Banks um, going in on Nicki. They're like, you talk about Cardi B every day. How dare you talk about Azalea? But listen, this is what I said. I said, am I denigrating Cardi B in my commentary? No. You know what I'm doing? I'm saying some things that you might not like. You might not like it because it's not in favor or I'm saying some things that you don't want to face. You know that people, though, people don't, they hate them harsh realities. Ooh, they hate them harsh realities. They don't want to face them, right? And then when you got a little bit of personality, they just don't really like it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, listen, that's not my fault. I don't have to like who you like. No, I don't like culture vultures. I don't like people who use the N-word just because they getting some black D up in their V. I don't, I don't like people who do that. And I just don't like fake shit, like point blank. You know what I'm saying? I don't like clout chasers. She's been trying to ride Nikki wave. She is mad. She's seen that Megan on booked out a tour off hiss and all that, even though she's selling $20 holla. 
Megan out there on the, she was out there on a $20 holler with Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? Glorilla got more of traction on the charts. And now Megan is supposed to be coming out with some deluxe or whatever the case may be. We'll see what comes into fruition with that. And I'm going to do a video on Megan too, but this ain't about that. I just want to let y'all know, you got to be able to recognize the clout chase in Cardi B. She wants Nicki's attention. She want to be in the mix like an ingredient. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. Yo, let me just tell you this. I'm going to end the video off by saying this. When Nicki come out with her album, she don't use and she don't go to any of these other chicks' bases. She don't use them for at all. Like, to just to... She uses... Like, you know how we did the whole Gag City thing and the fans did that? Nicki named Gag City, but the fans ran with it and they and they ran it, right? We didn't use, we, Cardi, she didn't have to come out and target Cardi. She didn't have to come out and target Doja Cat. She didn't have to target Megan or anything. It's like ting drop and ting drop. Like, why these girls always need something to clinch to? Clinch to that, you sucking. Clinch to that. You understand what I'm saying? Po and pondering, never pandering, never what? Panhandling. Please leave your comments below. Let me let me know what you think about Clout Chase Cardi B wanting the Queen's attention so, so, so bad. So bad, so sad, so sad. What love will make you do? So sad. Just so sad. Listen, leave your comments below. Um, I'm about to do another video on Ice Spice and Cleo Trapper as well, so make sure that you check that out. Listen, I'm up out of here. Peace.